character Leo yeah. is a disgraced journalist yes. who now has run, is running a blog yeah. through this whole epidemic. Can you tell us the evolution of your character? Well, I would say the evolution is, uh, it's really like, he's, as you said, when we discover him, uh, his reputation has been um, damaged. Uh, and he's trying to claw his way back up uh, over the mainstream and popularity. And this story is, uh, he feels, his golden ticket to, to get that. Um, and he just, the first thing he does is befriend Lex, try to get on the inside, get some information, and have a, um, have a uh, colleague. Uh, and, and he also has some people on the inside, some, some friends, collecting information. And there's an onion, there's an onion peeled away. Uh, obviously, problems arise, things that he didn't expect to come up. Um, information that he didn't see, uh, see that didn't foresee, uh, is made available to him. And, and so it gets hairy. And he's also, the more he digs, the more danger he becomes. In the more danger he becomes. So um, it's uh, it's quite a journey for him personally. I think Leo is a little bit duplicitous, wouldn't you yeah, say? Yeah. Because well, you've he, seen some of the. Uh, I saw the first two episodes. Okay. So okay. Leo is very kind when Lex is, you know, giving a speech to someone, so he can use that as kind of like a a good cop tries to take down a bad cop. But yeah. as soon as Lex turns against him, you bash him immediately. So the duplicity of your character. How, how how did you get to the mindset of wanting to play? Uh, I love this kind of, this is the best kind of character. I'm, I love any character that you can't say is good or bad. Uh, I love it when it's a mixture, when, when that's what most people are. Yeah. You know, um, the most interesting people are the ones that, that uh, are unpredictable, and Leo is unpredictable. Yeah. Uh, so I, I didn't have to do anything. I mean, it was so well written and such a good part. I didn't have to get in any mindset. You just have to let it go. Play. How fun was it to play? It was great. It's a great, as I say, it's a bit of an anti hero part, I guess. Um, um, and you don't know whether I like him, which I love. I'm not, I'm not sure that, uh, that you call Leo a likeable, likeable character. So we and I'm always like, that's the only kind of character that I'm used to. Will we see more of his backstory of why he was disgraced? I hope so. In season one? Oh, in season one. Um, no. I, well, no. I don't know how much we're supposed to say. Okay. At the beginning, uh, at the beginning, kind of, I personally kind of wanted to punch him in the face, but by the end of episode four, um, uh, he seems a lot more human. Yeah. Um, and going back to the duplicity thing, the, the drone footage that he like he arranges for Lex is yeah. that just him trying to get on Lex's good side, or is there a actual like? Does he actually feel bad that Lex is? Girlfriend is inside, and he wants to do something helpful. It's a little of both. Actually, uh, yeah, I, I, I like that reaction. I'm glad you had that reaction from my own slug. Because it looks like he's just looking out for himself. But I think that he, I think he's a pretty deep feeling guy at the same time. Uh, so I think it's a little. I do think it's a little of both. I think he, he probably first and foremost is thinking ambitiously. But uh, in each encounter with Lex, he likes him and respects him. Even though he disagrees with him, he respects him. And I can understand, as a human being, what it would be like to have a loved one on the inside. Exactly. Exactly. Is that it? Answer? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, what was your audition? Uh, my audition for the show? Uh, do you have like a bunch of callbacks? Yeah, but, you know, it's usually you have is a, is a callback and then, uh, and then uh, if it goes, and the most efficient is in TV where you'd have a callback uh, and then you go and read for uh, the network with the contestant. And the uh, network and the uh, production company is one of them. So you read for both those entities and, uh, and the suits and the IRS up there. And then you wait and wait. Is that waiting terrible? Oh, it's the worst part. Now, the worst part is waiting. In fact, it's, it's far worse to 
wait to find out if you got a job than it is to find out you didn't get a job. Right. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, I would much rather they told me right when I was there. Like, no, you're not right for this. You're not going to get this. Oh, thank you. I leave happy. Uh, you wait around for this stuff. It's just not crazy making. Crazy. So was there a scene or an episode that you really enjoyed doing? Uh, there's a, there's a, a moment in, I guess you, you, none of you have seen it in episode six, uh, where I, uh, as a result of seeing my friends, what happens to my friends, and, I, don't know to say, uh, and I get a little drunk, and I'm hungover, <laughs> or actually, I'm, when you dis first discover me, I'm still a little drunk. Is that okay? Can I say that? I, what did you say? I heard drunk and I'm over. Oh, I didn't want to uh, uh, No, they just, I just didn't know how much I can say, you know, about uh, why I was drunk. You know? Oh, yeah, no. Keep, keep, keep okay. it minimal. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, there's, that was a favorite. That was a, that was a lot of fun to play. It's hard to play because, you know, I wasn't drunk. <laughs> you know? I see, you have to do a little acting, and I was trying not to do any acting. Did you drink you know, a little? And, 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 so, I, it's, it's one of those things where if you pull it off, it really works. I hope I did, or we'll see. But it was fun to do. Great, thank you so much. Okay, thank you.